The Katana Mark V is the latest addition to the Katana series of CPU coolers from Scythe. It uses a single 92mm fan and a classic Intel pushpin mounting configuration. The heatsink itself is reduced in size and has an offset design to allow for more RAM clearance. The base of this CPU cooler is made out of nickel-plated copper and it is polished to such a level that it has a mirror-like reflection. This means that the thermal compound spread is better and the risk of trapped micro air bubbles is lower. The fan used on the Katana 5 is part of the Kazeflex series. It uses a self-contained sealed fluid dynamic bearing and has a maximum speed of 2300 RPM while the minimum speed is of just 300. However, it can be controlled via the motor board's PWM system. The mounting system is composed out of two metallic clips. The corners of the fan frame are also covered by rubber pads that absorb the vibrations and prevent any unwanted noises or resonance. For transferring the heat away from the CPU, the cooler uses three 6mm heat pipes that are made out of nickel-plated copper, just like the base. These are soldered, soldered on a copper plate that is also the base plate of this cooler. This system offers a smoother contact surface for the, for the thermal compound and for the CPU die. The mounting system is the standard Intel pushpin design with plastic pins and clips that rotate into the slot. This system requires no backplate or tools to be installed or unfunctioned. But this system as always proves to be not that easy to install due to the way any tower style CPU cooler is designed. The main issue I had with every CPU cooler that had this system apart from the very small CPU coolers is the lack of space for my hands to, to accurately press the pins inside the right slots of the motherboard. However, once the cooler is installed in its place, the mounting system is firm and can support the weight of the cooler with ease. Before we move on with the testing, let's see what is inside the package of the Katana 5. There is a multi-language user manual that includes the installation steps as well as all the parts that are included in the bundle. There is the metallic AMD standard bracket and a small heated bag of thermal compound. The Intel standard mounting system is already pre-installed on the CPU cooler. And this is how the Katana Mark V looks once installed and up and running. While the installation might be tricky depending on the case and motherboard you have, the results surely are worth it because the Katana looks nothing like a chip cooler at all. The heat pipes are capped at the end and the top plate is shaped and stamped to add a bit more style to the overall look. In terms of clearance, there is plenty of space left below the CPU area for the first PCIe slot or as in my case, a SATA M.2 drive slot. There is also enough space left at the back of the motherboard and around the CPU area. This means that the VRM heatsinks can get plenty of airflow from the rest of the system and that all fan headers of the motherboard are easily accessible. And as you can see, the memory clearance is very good. All four slots of the motherboards are free and with the testing, the Katana 5 is right where it should be given its price and construction, reaching 84 degrees Celsius on a 4.5 GHz overclocked Skylake i5. This of course is done under extreme load conditions using a synthetic benchmark such as Intel Burn Test. The temperatures when gaming might be lower. Now it's the sound testing section and with a small 92mm fan that spin, spins at a maximum 2300 RPM, we can expect some noise to be heard. To achieve this, all system fans are turned off. While the 92mm fan will get noisy when it reaches the maximum speed, during normal usage, the fan itself will rarely spin above 70%. This results in a quiet CPU cooler that also offers good clearance for the memory and the motherboard. The Katana 5 is priced at around 26 euros and we can guess that the US prices will be similar. My opinion regarding this small CPU cooler is that the Katana Mark V is aimed at the casual gamers that want an adequate performance for their CPU cooling system, and a small heatsink design to fit their micro ATA systems with a basic mounting system for both AMD and Intel. In reality, this cooler was never meant to be used with a 4.5 GHz overclock or with a CPU that can exceed 100 watts in terms of TDP, but it will manage that albeit with a small bit of noise.